All members of the FTCC community are expected and instructed to conduct themselves in a manner which contributes to a positive atmosphere free of discrimination, sexual harassment, and sexual violence. This means that all forms of illegal discrimination, sexual harassment, sexual violence, and stalking are prohibited on campus and that violators may be disciplined or prosecuted. Fayetteville Technical Community College has been and currently remains a very safe campus and sexual assaults are rare. However, national statistics tell us that about one in five college-age women are the victims of some form of sexual violence and we must work together as a campus community to ensure one another's safety. In order to promote a safe campus, the president encourages everyone to participate in an online tutorial to raise awareness and provide valuable insight and resources for the entire campus and community. The college administration, faculty, staff, and students play an important role in promoting and maintaining a safe campus for all. All students are encouraged to view this video tutorial as soon as possible after registering for classes. The video, produced by Fayetteville Technical Community College, has been approved by the college's Title IX Compliance Officer, located in the Thomas R. McLean Administration Building in room 162A. The tutorial will remain available on the campus webpage for review in subsequent semesters. So let's get started with learning how to protect yourself, protect others. Fayetteville Technical Community College strives to maintain a safe, positive, and healthy environment for our students, faculty, and staff. We all deserve the comfort of working and studying in a safe environment that is free of illegal discrimination and any form of sexual harassment or violence. Protect Yourself, Protect Others is designed to help you recognize places and people who may present a possible threat or harm to your personal safety and give you ideas for use in protecting yourself and others from exposure to unnecessary risks. This video will guide you with the steps you can take if you or someone you know becomes a victim of sexual harassment, stalking, or violence. We are all responsible to protect others and ourselves. If you have suggestions for continued improvement of Protect Yourself, Protect Others, please direct your suggestions to the Vice President for Human Resources who serves as the college's Title IX Compliance Officer. Each academic year brings with it new classes, new experiences, new friends, and new learning opportunities. It can also bring with it new risk. This online tutorial will help you better understand and avoid sexual assault, rape, partner violence, stalking, and sexual harassment. Each of these types of events can happen anywhere, and working together, we want to make certain they don't happen here. Sexual violence of any type will not be tolerated on our college properties, and those who engage in such predatory behavior will be held accountable. We are working to maintain our long-standing violence-free campus, and this online course, Protect Yourself, Protect Others, provides critical information about techniques to maintain the safety of everyone at the college. By taking a few moments now to go through the video and online instruction, you will position yourself to remain aware of your surroundings and others who might wish to harm you, your friends, or your family. In order to create the safest possible environment for faculty, staff, and students at Fayetteville Technical Community College, it is important that each of us understands the law and what is expected of you. Though it can seem overwhelming, it's really not that complicated if you use common sense and remain aware of your surroundings. Both sexual harassment and sexual violence are prohibited on FTCC's campuses. Sexual harassment can affect both students and employees and generally involve unwelcome advances or comments of a sexual nature. Remember, 
whether some action or actions or sexual harassment will be considered from the point of view of the person being harassed and not from the point of view of the harasser. Both North Carolina law and FTCC policy define sexual assault as any sexual physical contact that involves the threat or use of force or violence. Sexual contact resulting from coercion or intimidation is also wrong. Even in situations where no threat is involved, sexual contact is illegal when it involves a person who cannot make rational decisions because he or she is intoxicated, mentally challenged, asleep, or otherwise incapacitated. This includes being under the influence of alcohol or drugs. FTCC will enforce its policies separately and independently of the criminal justice system. Victims retain their right to make a charge with local law enforcement. Sex requires consent, which is defined as a voluntary, positive agreement between the participants to engage in sexual activity. Consent must be clear and unambiguous for each participant at every stage of a sexual encounter. The absence of no should not be understood to mean there is consent. That's why communicating verbally before engaging in sexual activity is imperative. Also, should a person wish to withdraw consent, he or she may do so at any time, and the other person must honor that decision. Rape can happen by a person being randomly singled out or targeted through predatory behavior. Rape is a violent act. There are many myths surrounding rape. There are also false stereotypes surrounding those who might perpetrate rape. In fact, four out of five rapes are committed by someone the victim knows. Non-consensual sex is rape. From a young age, we are taught that we are safe around acquaintances and we expect familiar people to act in familiar ways. We can be thrown off guard when they act in a way we do not expect. The overwhelming majority of assaults are carried out by acquaintances, friends, or family members who use coercion to assault their victims. Coercion, pressure, and intimidation can be just as forceful and disempowering as physical violence. Rapists desire control. They may intentionally select victims who are vulnerable or who can become vulnerable through drugs, alcohol, or fear. Rapists see control as vital and victims as objects to be dominated. They show little empathy for others and may find violence exciting. These predators are not looking for a relationship. They are self-serving and looking to empower themselves by taking advantage of others. As an educational community, everyone should be aware and watch out for predatory behavior such as stalking or harassment and report the incident as quickly as possible. Remember, always trust your gut feelings. At FTCC, we are all responsible for building a strong, safe community where we can learn, explore our college years, and prepare for our futures. We have an obligation to our campus community and to each other to uphold certain standards of behavior that will make our time here a great experience. Whether you're preparing to transfer to a four-year college or preparing for occupational opportunities, you may know someone who needs help. We are all part of the solution to addressing interpersonal violence. You might ask yourself, what can I do to help? At first, this seems like a hard question to answer, but there are things you can do to help yourself and others. When you hear something that you believe is harassing, sexist, or homophobic, speak up and make it clear that the FTCC community doesn't condone that sort of speech 
and is also a violation of the college's policies. When you see someone who is in trouble, try to peacefully remove him or her from the situation. If you see a friend who is about to do something inappropriate that could place someone in harm's way, tell him or her, don't be stupid. When you put aside your fear and step up, it can make a huge difference in someone's life. We owe it to one another to help protect ourselves from those violating the college policies and the law. Help is available. If you are a victim of sexual violence, sexual assault, stalking, or violence, immediately report the incident to FTCC Public Safety and Security by calling 910-678-8433 or using an emergency call box on campus. Alternatively, you may contact Title IX Coordinator, Vice President for Human Resources and College Personnel Manager at 910-678-8243. 678-8246. Don't try to deal with the situation by yourself. Help is available. Reach out and seek help through community resources such as Rape Crisis Volunteers of Cumberland County and law enforcement personnel who have individuals available to assist with crisis intervention. Use these resources to empower yourself. Let's get involved and help everyone by collectively working together as a college family to maintain a safe, positive, and healthy environment for students, faculty, staff, and visitors. Taking responsibility, protect yourself, your classmates, and each other by remaining constantly aware of your surroundings and others in the local area. Report as quickly as you can any suspicious behavior you may become aware of. We have to work together to keep everyone safe and secure at our college. We would rather that you report suspicious behavior, which may turn out to be nothing, than not report suspicious behaviors that may lead to harm to yourself and others while at the college. We are all responsible parties who must do our part to keep everyone safe. Now that you have viewed the Protect Yourself, Protect Others video, Encourage your family, friends, and others who may visit the college to view the video. Your personal recommendation and endorsement of the video's tutorial value may protect others, including potential visitors, to the college. Additionally, you are encouraged to review the Protect Yourself, Protect Others video at the start of each fall, spring, and summer semesters while working or studying at FTCC. Remember, we are all part of the solution and have a joint obligation to maintain FTCC's safe work and study environment. <music>